Our next topic in embryology is twinning. Do you remember which of the six types of errors in organ morphogenesis twins are at risk for? That would be deformation. Since it can be crowded in the uterus, and twins can put physical pressure on each other. The two types of twins are monozygotic, meaning they came from one embryo, one egg plus one sperm, and are genetically identical, and dizygotic, meaning they came from two separate embryos. In other words, two eggs fertilized by two separate sperm that were fertilized independently and therefore genetically different. Dizygotic twins will each implant separately, have their own chorion and placenta, and their own amniotic sac. Overall, dizygotic twins account for about two-thirds of all born twins. Monozygotic twins, however, can share certain organs depending on when the embryo divided into two. In about 25% of cases, the embryo of monozygotic twins splits before the chorion is formed at day three, and these embryos will have their own placentas, chorions, and amniotic sacs, just like dizygotic twins. These are dichorionic, diamniotic. More commonly, about 75% of the time, the embryo splits between days 4 and 8, when the chorion has already formed but the amniotic sac has not. These twins will share a chorion and placenta, but each have their own amniotic sac. So monochorionic, diamniotic. Very rarely, less than 1% of monozygotic twin embryos will split after the amnion forms. So these will be monochorionic, monoamniotic. So these twins are at risk for what? That's right, being conjoined, especially if the split occurs after the bilaminar discs forms after day 13. For the step one exam, remember that the number of chorions equals the number of placentas. A mnemonic you can use to remember what is being shared between these is SCAB. S is for separate everything, C for shared chorion, A for shared amniotic sac, and B for shared body if conjoined. Flash quiz time. In the most common form of monozygotic twinning, how many chorions and amnions are there? monochorionic diamniotic. Remember that this would be the C in the scab mnemonic for shared chorion. Time for another test yourself. A woman gives birth to twin girls via cesarean section. The obstetrician notes that although each twin was contained in their own amniotic sac, there was just one placenta. What kind of twinning is described in this case? The answer is C. Monozygotic twins that split after day three yield a monochorionic diamniotic pregnancy. Conjoint twins occur in monochorionic monoamniotic pregnancy. Dizygotic twins are two separate zygotes that were never fused to begin with, and monozygotic twins that split before day three yield a dichorionic diamniotic pregnancy.